I want to welcome everyone to the uh, May 1st, 2019 Revere Conservation Commission meeting. If we can all stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, roll call. Deborah Cintiano McCatton. Present. Ian Raponi. Here. Joe Laval. Here. Dave Etoff. Here. Robert Cassidy. Present. Heather Legier is absent. She's not feeling well. And I'm uh, Chairman Nick Malayson. Can I have a motion for the approval of the minutes for March and the April meetings? I'll make a motion. Ian makes a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second it. And seconded by Toby. All right, first item is public meeting RDA CDM Smith Oak Island Water Main Improvement. First phase of project, replacing six inch current water main with a new eight inch water main. Water main. Come on up, name and address for the record, please. Magdalena Lobstead, CDM Smith, 75 State Street, Suite 701, Boston, Mass, 02109. Okay. So I'm representing the city of Revere. Um, I'm here to present the uh, proposed phase one of the North Shore uh, water main crossing project. Um, I'm gonna move this over here. You can pick it up the microphone. You can pick it up and take it with you. That works. Okay, so, so um, the reason for this RDA is uh, a portion of the work, or the majority of the work, is located with the land subject to coastal storm flowage. And basically, the project consists of um, uh, replacing and installing some new water main in Alice and Vera Street. And this is in the Oak Island uh, neighborhood. This is Oak Island Street right here. And um, the reason for the project is basically to improve uh, fire safety and water pressure and provide some redundancy. C currently, there's only one six-inch water main that serves that entire neighborhood. Here's a better f um, plan that shows the six-inch water main. The work subject to this is three phases to this project, but they're spread out over three, four years. So the first phase is very limited scope. It's installing um, and replacing about 400 linear feet of six inch water main with eight inch uh, ductile iron water main in both in Alice and Vera. And as you can see, there's a solid yellow line here. We're extending the water main so it connects to the existing water main in North Shore Road to provide some redundancy because right now there's only that one water main within Oak, Oak Island Street. And in the next phase, that will actually, there'll be a second water main out to the Oak Island, and we actually have to go underneath the railroad, and we have to do a little cross-country um, uh, crossing as well. So, and that's basically the work. So it's a water main, hydrants, service connections. This is just a plan that shows the floodplain, so you can kind of see it's basically everything but the little high spot in the Oak Island neighborhood. That's any That's commissioners have any questions? Do you, would you like to speak, Eric? Name and address for the record, please. Eric Lampadecchio, 43 Tapley Avenue. Um, can you speak to what we can expect for service interruptions for residents in that area? Will they, will they be without water for a week or a day or a couple hours? Yeah, they, they actually will provide a bypass uh, water, so you should not see any interruptions at all. And there's also a traffic management plan, so it, you know, it should be minimal okay. impact. And it's going out to bid uh, in the middle of May, and it's going to construction um, early this summer. Okay, thank you. That was my question. Okay, any other questions from the commissioners? So, so what they're looking for is a negative determination because they won't need to um, they won't need to file for an order of condition. So, do I have a motion to issue a negative determination for them? I'll make a motion to that. Joe makes a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay. If you hang tight for five minutes, I'll give you the, the paperwork tonight, okay? Thank, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, next item is public meeting RDA Point of Pines Beach Association. 
Vista prune and maintain the Point of Pines Beach. How are you? How are you? Okay, good. Just name an address for the record, please. Sure. Laurie Nelsnick from 233 Rice Avenue, the Point of Pines. Okay. Is it okay if I pass something out? Yeah, absolutely. So just for you commissioners to know, this is something that they do every year. And she's just renewing what, what they do every year. You know, she's from the Point of Pines Beach Association. Nelson. So if you can just give us a little overview of what you guys do. Oh, sure. And we'll yeah, go from um, there, what you guys are going to do. Sure. I'm part of, I'm at the Point of Pines. We live there. We have a beach, uh, an area that's a private beach, and we formed an association. And basically, the association is all volunteer people, and we are there to help keep the beach clean, um, help make it accessible. There's access points to make sure they're safe. Um, and basically, we just work with our community, and sometimes we have beach cleanups and things like that. So every few years, what we do is we just approach the Conservation Commission because we just want to trim the edges of the beach because the overgrowth, um, as you can see in the picture, some of it comes over the guardrail, it gets into the walkways, so they become more dangerous. So we've actually consulted with a wetland specialist. We have him come visit us every few years to assess our condition of the beach and the dunes. And he's taught us a lot about um, just taking care of the, the plant life so that it actually has a good root system that's established. And we're really fortunate at the Point of Pines because we actually gained the sand that leaves the public beach. Uh, public beach. It actually, because of the tides, it actually comes over to our side. So our dunes are building up, which is terrific for us. And uh, over the years, the plant life has just, just really taken off. It's established itself well. And the one thing is we form kind of a committee to see about doing just the, the vista pruning, which helps us in a few ways. It helps us with the access points, so they're safer and along the guardrail. And also the wetland specialist had actually told us that it helps establish the root system because when you kind of prune the trees or prune the bushes, it actually helps them um, grab hold better. So we just ask if we can have permission just to continue to do our regular maintenance to just keep it nice and clean and um, the health of the plants too. Great, thank you. Okay, thanks. Eric, you have something to say, please, or a question? I just want to uh, be on the record as a proponent in favor. I think the Point of Pines Beach Association takes great pride in the neighborhood. They do a lot of uh, outreach and they're out there almost every Saturday morning picking up debris on the beach and they really take pride in the neighborhood. So they do a great job. Great, thank you. Any commissioners have any questions? I don't have a question, but I have a, a little bit of a request. I, I did this last time too. If you look at the, if you look at, as a matter of fact, if you look at that photo, particularly between Bigfoot Ave and Alden, heading north, that's a two-way street, Rice Ave, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if you're heading north between Alden and Bigfoot, there's a slight turn on the, on the dune side. I, w I just request that you make the pruning really tight because if that starts overhanging, it gets really tough to be on that side of the road, you know, especially on the passenger side as you're going from Alden to Bigfoot Ave. It, they did a good job last time. It is, it's, it's real compact, you know. The uh, bushes there are, are pretty good, but I'd like to keep it that way. Yeah. Thank you. Any other commissioners with any questions or statements? I just, uh, sure, Commissioner Etoff. Are you um, removing any of the invasives, or have you identified them, and do you, is that part of your work? Um, we, the Turn the microphone on. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, when the wetland specialist came, he did kind of point out some of the plant life there. Right now, um, I think what we have is a lot of the, um, just um, American plums and um, just, Right now, the plant life is, seems pretty balanced. There's nothing that's overtaking it right now, um, but we're always cautious because he did say that where there's the marsh, there's certain kind of reeds that are starting to affect over by the yacht club, and they just come, they've just migrated over, but they haven't really reached our area 
But he just says, keep an eye out for it, because once they come in there, you'll have a hard time, you know, because they're just prolific. So. Thank you. Oh, sure. Okay, so just like the last item, we're looking for negative determination because they're not doing any digging. They're not uprooting anything. They're just trimming back from the street, basically. And um, so we're looking, do I have a motion to file to uh, issue a negative determination? I'll make a motion to do so. And makes a motion? I'll second it. Seconded by Toby. If you hang tight five minutes, I'll give you a copy of, a copy of it tonight, okay? So if you can sign those two. Next item is Certificate of Compliance for 9 Arcadia Street, Paul Sullivan. So this was an old Certificate of Compliance that was issued back in 2007 that he wants to now sell the property and they can't locate that Certificate of Compliance. So everything has obviously has been done because he bought the property, so now he wants to sell it and we need to issue a, an updated Certificate of Compliance. Um, so I have no problem issuing it. I just wanted to, uh, just, if I can just have your name and address for the record. Paul Sullivan. Uh, 9 Arcadia Street, Unit B. And that is pretty much the case, right? You're selling the house now and they can't find a certificate of compliance. It's, yes, under agreement. Uh, okay. And an attorney informed me that there was a snag with a certificate of compliance from the original build. Okay. And this is the first I heard of it. So. Yeah, okay. So this is something that... Um, we can issue, do I have a motion to file the certificate of compliance? Everything has been done. Uh, back in 2007, we issued it. We just need to reissue it to him so he can uh, sell the property. I make a, a ma motion to have it reissued. Process. Okay. In view, of, a, in view of the fact that he's done all the other work involved. Yeah. Do I have a second? I'll second that. David, it's off. Okay. If you hang tight. Uh, Five minutes, I'll give you your, uh, your copy tonight. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, we have an added, added item on the agenda is Century, was it Century 21 Fox? Or Century 21, who is it? 20th Century Fox. Century Fox. Uh, they're gonna be filming a movie on the beach in June and they wanna set up uh, like a temporary stage. Um, so if you can just describe what we're going to do. Name and address for the record for me, please. Uh, Michael Judge, uh, Assistant Location Manager for the 20th Century Fox movie Free Guy, uh, 40 Burrell Street, Swamp Scott. I'm a local. Um, can I um, just hand out the... Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Go right ahead. Absolutely. Thanks, Michael. So this is the bigger picture of what I showed you guys already. Um, so Michael, there's no digging, it's just pretty much gonna sit on the sand. Yeah, so we're working with DCR um, to do some filming uh, at Rivera Beach in June, um, June 19th, 20th, 21st, and then the 24th, and again the 26th, 27th, 28th. The movie is, it's almost like a Spider-Man movie, it's like a lot of visual effects. Um, we would implement this particular um, uh, platform because in the film um, essentially a, a building falls down in again it's visual effects so just bear mm. with me so there's is, no real building falling down no no bu me. building falling down but um, essentially the building kind of creates a bridge that would extend kind of over into the water and we have Ryan Reynolds kind of walking over this bridge into the water so in order to kind of start them they need a little bit of a, a platform a practical platform to kind of get him off of the sand so they can kind of, and then eventually in Visifex post, they call it post, they would build that, um, you know, in post that, that, um, that extension. But in order to practically do it, they need him to be kind of at something practical that they can shoot and then add to it. Um, we, the platform would sit on the sand, it would be, you know, prefabbed um, and uh, it would be above the tide line. Um, you know, uh, if we had it in place overnight, the rangers would be there with it. Um, we'll have security on site. Um, I don't know if there's any other questions you might have. What, what is that? I'm assuming those are just metal metal posts, like yeah, metal it, legs, it's, with, uh, like eight, a wood platform, foot, probably. Eight foot by 28, um, four feet high. Um, 
It would just kind of be like steel decking that you'd see at like a, a rock show. Okay. You know. If I, I may. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds to me it's an absolute necessity for this movie on our beach. You couldn't do it without it, could you? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's, 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 we're actually, I, I want to also let, let you know it's in the proximity of 220 uh, Revere Beach Boulevard, which is across from the pedestrian footbridge, that nice big Zakem uh, Bridge looking pedestrian bridge at Wonderland. Oh, the so, Maki Bridge there. Okay. Yeah, that's so that, that's the, the area right. where, sure it where it was going to be. So it's yeah. going to be a little after the state police barracks. Right. Sounds exciting to me. Yeah, it's, it's, I know they've done a lot of filming. Um, I was actually a part of the team that they, they filmed here for Wonderland at City Hall, so we worked with the mayor uh, mm -hmm. to film actually here for that movie. Uh, it's not out yet, but so I'm, I'm a little familiar with, with the, the mayor's office. And again, I'm a local, I'm not a Hollywood guy, so there's a good chance I might be back in front of you guys for something in the future. <laughs> good to see you all, so. Yeah. Thank you. Just a quick question now, just to be clear. So this is not for equipment. It's not for lighting. It's not for cameras, because it. I'm looking at the the post that it wouldn't take a lot of weight the way it is now. It's just for Ryan Reynolds to be able it's, to. Yeah, it's just for an actor, and, and, and it's it's kind of a. I call it, a, it essentially a platform, but it's kind of it's 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 a little um, dressed up and snazzy. It's a clear plexi. It's kind of almost. It's um, the, it's. It's pretty. It's a pretty. <laughs> it's a pretty bridge. So um, no wait. If no, I may. it would just be the actor. Yeah. Um, all right. Thank you. Yep. From the looks of the uh, the, uh, I pretty, would have to call this a platform. Would that suffice? Yeah. It, uh, it's uh, you know it's clear plexi. It's it's fancy. It's almost like if you would see like a a large table. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Um, how is this anchored? Is this so? If there was weather, how would you ensure that this doesn't get blown all around? Um, this, is, this is heavy. I think that the the weight of it will certainly weigh it down. If if we expect you know high tides or storms, I mean this this can be taken out you know with you know five ten guys quickly. Um, you know the, I don't. There won't necessarily be any uh, weights on it or or sandbags or, or anything like that. Um, I, you know, I, I don't think that would be a problem if it's going to get lifted or anything. It's, 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 it's steel, so it should, you know, stay down. Thank you, Commissioner. So basically, we just, I had him come up here, and the city wanted him to come up here to explain what they were doing. They don't need any negative determination. They don't need any paperwork from us other than an email from me saying that it's okay for them to do what they're doing, and that that'll suffice the city departments, which I'll do. I'll send an email to you as well as to the other city City departments as well, so that way you guys will be all set. Okay. All ready? Great. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. That is it for business today. Do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll um, make a motion. I'll second it. Seconded by Ann. I mean, uh, first by uh, Ann, seconded by Robert Cassidy.